Hello and welcome to this week's LPL Players of the Week for Week 4 of what they're calling the Rumble Stage in uh, LPL Summer. Here we have the top two players or duos from both the upper um, half of the uh, Rumble Stage and the bottom half. Last week somebody um, skipped around in the video and then commented below um, and if they had just paid attention they would have not looked so foolish. So just getting that off the the rip right now this is 100 percent based off of stats um so keep that in mind as we go over this so the stats we use kda assist count as half uh cs per minute kill participation return on investment which is damage divided by gold vision efficiency vision score divided by wards placed solo kills and in the case of the bot lane duos 2v2 kills as well as uh gold difference around to the nearest hundred or so um, based on whatever region we're using their scoreboard when the first turret falls and CSD. So in the upper bracket, Shanji from Ninja in Pajamas, despite them being 0-5, had the best week. Um, vision efficiency, he was the best amongst all top laners with 3.98. Second in gold difference at the time the first turret fell, 560. Third in solo kills with 2. CS difference up 9 on average. Then there was Ben, who ranked third overall, but only was top three in one category, which was CS per minute. He had over nine CS per minute for BLG, ranking third. Wayward of uh, Team Wee, I believe, was the second strongest top laner, statistically. First in solo kills with three. Gold difference ahead 950. CS difference ahead 17. Third in kill participation at over 70%. And then there's Ching Tian from Alta Prime. He was second in KDA 3.3, third in Vision Efficiency 3.48, and solo kills with two, but he ranks seventh overall. So this is where that person went wrong last week. There are players in the upper bracket that are better than Ching Tian, but they didn't rank top two, and, and I treat each half of the league the same. I don't care about talking about your favorite players. I talk about the players that I want to talk about um, based on stats. So that is what it is. So, um, third through sixth ranked in this order. Birdall from LGD, Breathe of Weibo, and Ale of Anyone's Legend. Other key players in KDA, Harry of OMG had the best with a 3.25. He also led in kill participation at about 73%. Return on investment, Hoya of Thundertalk, 1.76. They only played one series, um, so that's why we'll see some Thundertalk representation on this board. In the jungle role, the best jungler was Meteor of LGD. First in KP at 80%, CSD ahead 18 on average, second in CS per minute 7.5, and solo kills with 3. Kanavi ranked 4th overall, was first in CS per minute at um, just a little bit more than Meteor, I think 7.51. Solo kills, he had 3. Gold difference, 740. Third in CSD, plus 15. Hacker of Ultra Prime ranked second. He was second in KDA 5.9. Gold difference ahead 680 and CS difference ahead 17. Zhao Hao of Rare Atom. First in vision efficiency amongst all junglers at 5.6 vision score per ward placed. Third in KDA 5.9. Solo kills he had one. So that made him third in that category. And he ranked third overall. Other notables, Tian of Top Esports had the best KDA at 7.5 outright. And the best damage divided by gold return on investment is Krako of Anyone's Legend, 2.11. Mid lane, Cream of Top Esports was excellent. Um, ranking second overall. Second in CS per minute, 10.3. And gold difference ahead, 700. Then we had Knight, who ranked 4th outright, but like Bin, wasn't highly ranked in other categories in the role in and of itself. A lot of players that were great in one category tanked in another, but Knight was tied in the lead with solo kills uh, with 3, and he ranked 4th overall. Uh, Tang Wan actually led the way for RNG um, when you take in the games that he played in the mid lane role. And honestly, statistically, the support role, he wasn't as awful as you thought, I mean, you think it might have been, would have been. So, 
um, surprise there. But he was first in CS per minute, 10.9. Vision efficiency, 4.92. Um, and that does not include his um, support games in that. So keep that in mind. Second in KD, uh, KP at 76%. Third in solo kills with two. So he had two solo kills in the two games he played in mid lane. That's pretty efficient, if you ask me, in that category. Angel of OMG also had a great week. First in kill participation at 78%. And CSD ahead 14 on average. Second in KDA, 7.8. Return on investment, 1.73. Third in gold difference, ahead 680. And he ranked third overall. Other notables, KDA leader, UCAL of Thundertalk, 10.8. Return on investment, Shanks of Anyone's Legend, 1.95. Solo kills, Care technically was tied with Knight with three solo kills. And gold difference, UCAL led the way in that department up 900 on average but did not get you know was not better than tang one or ucal so he wasn't top two bot lane duos the best one jackie love and mako um once again leading in vision efficiency i said say this every week um their vision control is outstanding their ward placement is very very efficient um and it's week in and week out um, and it's, I think it's honestly very indicative of how good of a player Mako really is. Um, so vision efficiency, 2.29. Gold difference, on average, they were ahead 2,100 gold. Um, CS difference, 32. Second in KDA combined, 4.1. Third in kill participation, 78.4%. Ruler missing, they ranked fourth overall and were second in solo kills or 2v2 kills with six. Ruler had a great week. A lot of people in Discord claiming Ruler looked bad this week. I thought he did pretty pretty damn well given the circumstances. His Azrael and Jin very aggressive, getting solo kills. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he was definitely not the reason why they lost their games this week. Um, I think if you want to blame Ruler, then that kind of just shows your true biases on the matter. Um, loser side, 1XN Feather were third best um, for Thunder Talk. First in KDA, 7.2. CS per minute, 11.5. Vision efficiency, 2.18. And then Doggo and Nick Cat of Ultra Prime. Second in gold difference, had 1,060. Now, uh, other notables. Interestingly enough, so CS per minute, Wan Fang Tang Wan duo and Wan Fang Iwandi duo both led in first and second in CS per minute. I understand uh, Tang Wan was one game, Wan, uh, Iwandi was two, um, or whatever, but the point of the matter is, Wan Fang was first in each um, pairing. So Wan Fang was the leader in CS per minute, regardless of who his support was. Kill participation, Asum and Shui of Rare Adam, 83%. Return on investment, once again, the Wan Fang and uh, his whoever support he's with, 1.6 to 1.7 return on investment, which were first and second. And then solo kills plus 2v2 kills, Duck Dom and Life of FPX totaled eight, which was um, the lead in that department. So um, first team in the upper bracket, Shanji, Meteor, Cream, Jackie Love, Mako. So a lot of top esports representation. Second team, Bin, Kanavi, Knight, Ruler, Missing. Loser side, Wayward, Hacker, Tang Wan, 1XN, and Feather. And then Ching Tian, Zhao Hao, Angel, and um, Doggo Niket. So those are your all pros for the week uh, based on stats. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And hope to see you again tomorrow.